Alright guys, so today's video is going to be um, an interesting one. Um, so recently, um, so a lot of people have been asking me about my TTC journey um, and how's it going and whatnot. So I just want to give y'all a little update on this situation in my uterus. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So... As many of you know that have been watching my channel for the longest time, um, daggone. I have been trying to, I've been TTC basically, trying to conceive for the last about five and a half, uh, about five years now. So, <laughs> yeah, I've been through like all kinds of testing. I've been through the ringer basically of things that you can do to try to get pregnant. I've had injections, I've had procedures done, I've had IUIs, I've had eight IUIs. Um, and you know, my body always responded to the stuff, but it never would just connect and just, you know, do what it needs to do. Um, so yeah, so recently, um, what was it, November? November, um, I decided I was gonna get a wax. Let me just tell y'all this story. So November, I decided I was gonna get a Brazilian, like a full on, wax it all off, like everything must go. So I got that, I got the full thing done. Um, you know, when you, get a, when you get like a full Brazilian wax, it kind of puts you in a mood to let somebody see that wax. So yeah, so yeah that happened and um then I had a trip planned after that so I went to Atlanta I was drinking I was partying I was just having a good old time and then I came home and you know I just continued like enjoying my life because you know I had been basically taking a break I hadn't really had any medical interventions for like my journey for since last November so it's been like a year like I, it was a whole year for my system to just like refresh and reboot and just get back to doing it my way <laughs> um so yeah so so yeah so I was just drinking I was drinking wine every day after work I was just like mm, I'm just gonna enjoy my life so my co-workers we call ourselves BBK because it's two Britneys and me Kamiko so every Thursday that we get paid we would go out to this pizza place and basically drink a lot and um <laughs> and we would eat pizza and stuff and just like talk about what's going on mostly boys and stuff because they yeah we would talk about a lot of stuff um and then the last time we went i had not been feeling well my period had like i had been feeling like my period was coming on but it didn't come on like it, it just kept feeling it just kept feeling like it was coming on and I was just like oh my god I'm just gonna keep drinking <laughs> because I'm like well guys my period is still not here so I don't know what's going on um so I'm just gonna keep drinking I mean you know in my mind I never thought about anything else because I'm always like well I just I just don't see it that happening. Um what what day was it? December first. It was December first. And you know, it was our like turn up Thursday or whatever. So we was done eating pizza. I was like, you know, maybe I should go get a test. Because like my boobs have been hurting, but my boobs hurt anyway nowadays, whenever it's time for, you know, stuff to come on. So yeah, so I went to Walmart. I got me the little um, testing. I got my clear blue test. And I took three of them. I have I have one of them here still. Because I was like, what's going on, guys? Because as soon as I took that test, lines started popping up. And I was like, you kidding me, right? <laughs> like, what's going on? So... I took one test, it was positive. I took two tests, that was positive. I took three tests. I waited to do the next test, the third test, like later that morning after my husband went to work because I was like, let me be sure guys. I don't wanna just like get excited about something and then 
it don't be real so I took that third test um it was super positive <laughs> and I decided to call my doctor like I called my I was like up like I really just wanted to go run upstairs and kind of like throw the test at Jason like I did last time but I didn't because I was like I'm gonna make it a surprise so yeah so I called my doctor as soon as they opened it that morning I was like hey girl funny story you know how I had spent all these thousands of dollars here to try to get pregnant and I got pregnant because I got a Brazilian wax and it made me want to do stuff. <laughs> so she was like, come on in and got my blood draw. My first blood draw was 3,000. My first beta was 3,000. Um, so I was really excited because I was like, this is way higher than the first pregnancy I've ever had. You know, the first pregnancy I had was like, it was a really, really low number. I think it was like maybe in the hundreds or something like that. It was just really low for them for um, what my doctor's office wanted um so you know i was like oh this this sounds promising so <laughs> i wait two days those are the worst days those that waiting period is like the worst time of your life because you're like you just want to know so actually i had to wait a whole weekend so monday morning i go back there um and my second beta is eight thousand it's like 8,000 what? What is it? 8,800. 8, so it definitely did what it needed to do. Um, and I was like, yes. So I was excited, but then I was still kind of withdrawn because I was like, you know, I got excited last time I got pregnant and then stuff happened. And we ended up losing that baby. So I didn't want to kind of like get like really excited until I was kind of feeling positive about the whole situation. So, you know, I did my blood draws and stuff. My progesterone was a little low. Like it was like, it was decent, but she wants it a little bit higher. So she put me on progesterone supplements. So I was doing like one a day. Oh, my second blood draw, my progesterone was down one point uh, over that over those like three day that three day period so they had me do two a day so you know I'm doing that my thyroid was a little high too so they had me uh, start thyroid medications which I think if I kind of think if my previous doctor would have kind of like looked at my uh, thyroid levels they were probably high then too because my thyroid levels are always kind of out of whack from what the norm is um so yeah so um, I got started on thyroid medication. Then, so I found out on the 1st of December. And I was really excited. Da, 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 da. Here comes the 4th of December. I'm hiding this. To believe, like, I'm still hiding this from my husband. So I'm driving. We go to go get our annual Christmas ornaments like we normally do every year. So we had just left to get our Christmas ornaments. This lady rear ends us. This was like the worst accident I've ever been in my life. And like, I just, <laughs> I just start boohoo crying because I'm like, oh my God, the baby. What about the baby? And so I, you know, like I work in the city that I got hit in. So I was like, hey, <laughs> we need somebody over here because somebody just hit me. <laughs> and somebody eventually comes. They don't come fast enough though. So the lady runs after she hits us um if y'all see a white lady and like she had brown hair she was like mid-20s early 30s driving a older model jeep i believe she probably ain't got no damage because she had like a little bar thing on it but if y'all see this broad tell her i want to meet up tell her i want to i just want to talk to her just want to talk to her because you totaled our car yeah yeah so anyway so like I'm freaking out my husband's like why are you crying why are you okay like you good and I'm like yeah <laughs> I'm good so I talked to the EMS workers that were there and I'm like hey guys quick question um you think anything could be like wrong for baby if it gets hit at like this early of a stage and they're like um we don't think anything would be wrong because you know you're it's, it's really cushy it's it's really cushioned right now so 
you know, that kind of took my panic down a little. But then I told my sisters, because I had told my sisters at this point as well. And I told them about it and they was like, take your butt to the hospital. So I had to figure out a way to kind of make Jason stay at home while I take myself to the hospital and make sure the baby's okay. So I was like, hey, I just kind of need to like clear my mind and I'm going to take myself to the hospital. So that's what I did. Um, I took myself to the hospital. They did like ultrasounds. They saw the little, they saw everything like they, they should be seeing right then. So I'll put a picture of what they saw, you know, that day. So by that time, by the next day, um, so this is so funny. So it's like, it's like people start knowing what's going on other than Jason because I really wanted to surprise him on Christmas with this whole thing. And, um, yeah so I get back home I get back home after making sure everything was okay and one of his friends is here and he's like why would you leave him like this blah 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 like he was like what is wrong like because Jason was having a slight panic attack at the time but I like I felt like that's probably not the right time to say to scream oh I'm pregnant after you just got rear-ended you know out loud and your husband's already having a panic attack so I kind of just was like yeah I'm just gonna keep this to myself some more so I kind of let his friend in on the whole situation so he could kind of go calm my husband down you know because they everybody was worried they was like why would she just go like that and not have you go with her um yeah so <laughs> so then a couple of days pass uh, I have a doctor's appointment to get my ultrasound with them. So I do my ultrasound there. Um, they see everything they're supposed to see there. So it was really, really nice. Six, um, weeks, six days though. But I mean, that's still cool because I don't really know when I exactly ovulated. I just know I caught that sucker at the right time. So yeah, so my next ultrasound was in. And that's when we saw the heartbeat. Um, six weeks, four days, we saw a heartbeat. It was beating at 114. Um, you know, and I'm I'm excited, but it's just like I'm still nervous because this is around time when we lost the last one. And you know, I'm just like on edge until I go tomorrow to confirm, just make sure everything's fine because like, you know, I kept googling stuff because like my boobs weren't hurting as much, but they still are they're still tender. They're just not they're just not like they were. They, they were like really intense for like the first couple of weeks. And then I read a lot on the internet. It was like around seven, eight week mark. Sometimes a lot of people's symptoms start like coming and going. Um, so yeah, because I still feel nauseous. Like I feel nauseous right now. And uh, like I'm, I'm tired. Like I sleep like a cat. I legit sleep like a cat all day. Like if you wake me up, I hate yeah, you. My phone rang. Um, my phone rang and Jason was there when my phone rang because Jason still doesn't know at this point. Um, <laughs> so my phone rings and he's there and he's like, he's like, he picks it up because he thinks it's my sister because my sister's supposed to be calling me or whatever. No, it's, it's my doctor's office and he looks at the name and he picks up the phone and they're like, hey, hey girl, you got a, you got an appointment on this day, <laughs> um, at this time for an ultrasound. And he's like, what? What's going on, Kamiko? Like, he's downstairs playing video games right now. He's had a very dramatic night from the Falcons game to this Call of Duty game. But anyway, so he's really like, why is the fertility doctor calling you to tell you that you have an appointment? So I'm just like, I don't. No, I, maybe. Uh. And he like, are you pregnant? And I'm just like, yeah, I am. I am. So, yeah, I, I'm having a baby. And, you know, it kind of hit me then because it was like looking at his face and just seeing him like cry and just be like so happy that this was happening. It was amazing. Um. I had this big old plan because Christmas is next week and I was like you know I'm gonna surprise them with like the ultrasound on the TV blah blah like I was gonna do this whole big thing I had been, I had been planning this since the day I found out but yeah that got ruined God was like girl 
we're gonna tell this man because he's gonna figure it out eventually because he had been asking me like he was like you've been sleeping a lot and i'd be like yes it's thyroid medicine mm. it's, it's just taking a lot of my energy away um yeah and he was like he's just been kind of asking questions but then it's like he doesn't he didn't realize what was going on so yeah yep i definitely am pregnant i go tomorrow for my third ultrasound just to make sure everything it's just like a a comfort ultrasound because I just want to make sure everything is still going as it should because I'm really excited um and the funny thing is I had almost sold I had almost sold my nursery like I was about to sell my nursery like I had got a whole nursery um during the last pregnancy and because I just started buying stuff I was like whatever I'm gonna get this stuff in advance I was catching sales like I'll get stuff I'll put it in there you know I'll straighten it up whatever you know I'll sit in there sometimes and just think about like I can't wait to just be able to hold a baby in here and just you know do the things that you're supposed to do in a nursery so yeah I'm glad I did not sell that at all <laughs> so yeah um we go tomorrow and we will find out what is going on and then at nine weeks we will take a blood test that will tell us what the gender of this baby is. Yes, at nine weeks, they can do that now. Um, because she's gonna do like the genetic testing and stuff. So the genetic okay. testing, if there's a presence of male hormone, male genetic uh, code inside of my stuff as well, why they do like the genetic testing and stuff. So that will tell me if I'm having a little girl or a boy. And in my heart, I feel like this is a girl because I feel like I feel like we've been really really like pushing and just like in our mind like you know how you can kind of like manifest things and you know just trying to put like your life how you want it and in my life I've always said like you know I want my first kid to be a girl I really do the next one could be a boy but I want the first one to be a girl I don't know why but I just feel like you know I don't know like I had this connection to this little girl already I'm just gonna keep calling her girl until we verify but I'm pretty sure that God is gonna be like yes girl it's a girl so um yeah so that's what's going on and the funny thing is so at the beginning of the year I always do like um what you call it I'll put it right there so I made one <laughs> this year and I said so much stuff on it and now when I look at it I basically achieved all of the stuff on that list was well, like a little flow chart of like prioritized stuff that I wanted to happen and like pregnancy was like in a big old circle I wrote it in Spanish though because I didn't want people to know what I was talking about in case they saw my paper because I didn't want people being nosy but I wrote it in Spanish and then I wrote like getting promoted I wrote, and the way life is rolling right now it seems like I'm gonna be getting all this stuff real soon and it's a really good feeling it's a really really good feeling and I'm extremely happy so that is basically my kind of TTC update now that is basically all I just want to kind of like let y'all know that I am growing this youngin and it's awesome it's really awesome um yeah all right guys